most football coaches are idiots. What is the most inspiring thing I ever said to you? Don't be an idiot. Changed my life. This video explains the one simple game theory secret that is costing your football team one to three wins every single season. We begin with the most infamous choke job in NFL history. Falcons versus Time versus Tom. Atlanta is up 21-3 at halftime. Win probability north of 90%. I reviewed the 15 plays in the second half where the play clock was running when the Falcons snapped the ball. With a massive lead, they should have bled the clock down at every opportunity. Instead, they made egregious strategic errors, like snapping the ball on a running game clock with at least 19 seconds left on three separate occasions. I logged every second half snap. The Falcons snapped so early that they left an entire two minutes and 51 seconds for the Patriots to come back and win. To jog your memory, the Pats tied it up at 28 with only 57 seconds left. The greatest comeback in sports history He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! never should have happened. I need to emphasize that the Falcons could have run every single play exactly the same. This has nothing to do with the actual plays chosen. All they needed to do was, pre-snap, run some more clock. They brought the play clock down to 2 seconds on only 3 out of 15 plays. If they had brought the clock down to an average of 2 seconds on all of the other plays, they could have eaten 2 minutes and 21 seconds off the clock. It's important to note that, sure, you don't want to snap at exactly 2 seconds every play. You want to keep the defense guessing. Sometimes it's 3 seconds, sometimes it's 1 second. Even 4 seconds is okay. But 20 seconds is not okay! Every coach makes mistakes. Oh no! Oh no! But all 32 teams should consider this every single game. Whenever your team is ahead, especially by two or more scores, bleed clock. You want the game to end as soon as possible. On the other hand, whenever your team is behind, play faster. You need to extend the game as long as possible. The same goes for when you're a favorite or an underdog. Think of it this way. If you're the Jaguars playing the Chiefs, wouldn't you rather the game end at the end of the first quarter? You have a better shot of beating Mahomie for 15 minutes than a full hour. So Jaguars bleed the play clock every single play, and Chiefs play as fast as you possibly can. This is not rocket science. For some dumb reason, teams decide to only run clock late in the fourth quarter. This one pre-snap adjustment alone probably costs your team one to three wins every single season. This is the NFL. You need to take advantage of every single edge. The Falcons literally threw away the biggest game of their lives. They failed to do their job. Was that useful? Only the first one's free. If you're an NFL team and you're hiring, email me. Especially if you're the Patriots, Chargers, or Rams. Because I'm a lifelong Pats fan, but will settle for warm weather and beautiful women. That's my email, and it's also in the description below. Hurry up, I emailed every team in the league and a couple colleges too. Who the heck am I? I'll be the best decision your organization has ever made. Next time, I'll explain pink stripes and why Giselle deserves at least one Super Bowl ring of her own. Like and subscribe. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing.